Hi YouTube, this is Caltech Lover again. Well, it's been a while since I've done any videos and uh, I wanted to introduce you to a new uh, carry pistol that I picked up here some time back. I've owned this gun for a little over a year and I wanted to give you some talking points of it and uh, basically give you my likes, my dislikes, my fears and uh, myths that I've been able to uh, dispel. Uh, what we're talking about is the Taurus PT-145. Uh, a friend of mine had uh, put me on this little pistol, like I said, about a year, a little over a year ago, and uh, and I was really, really impressed with it. I like the way it feels uh, when you go to pick it up. It shoots really good, uh, and I was utterly amazed at the fact that even though it's a, of its compact size, you can put 11 shots of 45 ACP in this gun. And I'm going to go ahead and pan down here so that you guys can see this thing. This is uh, it's very similar to any Taurus uh, Millennium series uh, pistol. Uh, they make these and uh, they make the Millennium in uh, nine millimeter, 45 and 40, I believe. Uh, basically, the same basic size of the of the gun itself. Uh, but to give you an idea of the size, first of all, I want to let you know that it is uh, been checked. There's no ammo in the magazine, no ammo in the uh, in the gun itself. And the gun that we're going to be using for comparison. Is of course my uh, tried and true. This is, you can see that there's no ammo in that, and this is my Keltec PF9. Now Keltecs are uh, are famous for their size pistols. They they carry they make really really small pistols, and the Keltec PF9 at the time it was uh, introduced was the smallest nine millimeter ever made. Uh, but uh, I think they've been uh, whipped by uh, Rohenbar. I might have pronounced that wrong, and of course, uh, Car Arms has got a really, really small one. But with that being said, a lot of people recognize this little gun uh, and how small it is. Now, when you compare it to the 45, of course, the 45 is thicker, but the overall footprint of the 45 is very, very close to the uh, to the nine millimeter. Uh, still, a very compact little pistol. The di main difference is, is this is a uh, eight shot nine millimeter. This is an 11 shot 45 ACP. Like I said before, you want big bang for in the smallest amount of packaging. Buddy, this thing, this thing answers the question. Uh, to break it down, it breaks down basically just like any Glock. It's, uh, it's got, it takes a lot of its uh, uh, engineering from what it looks like to be Glock. Go ahead and drop the magazine. Uh, like most Taurus pistols, you've got your slide release, your safety, and your takedown pin right here. Uh, sometimes it can get a little confusing, but uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and break the gun down. You go ahead and lock the slide back. That's the first step. And then you're going to go ahead and take the uh, takedown pin and give it a little twist until you twist it in that position. Take a shell casing, pop that, pull it out. Take the takedown pin, set it right there. Now go ahead and release the slide. Pull your trigger, just like a Glock, and then at the same time that you let up on the trigger, pull the slide forward. Just like that. Uh, it might take it a second, you might have to do it a couple of times to, to get the knack of it, but it breaks down very similar to a Glock. Now, unlike a Glock, the actual frame uh, is actually an, uh, an aluminum frame inside of a plastic grip. Uh, very similar to the way that the, uh, the kel are made. Now, as far as the slide, the slide, like I said, is a striker-fired pistol, uh, very similar to a Glock, but with the exception, uh, the Glock, the striker, is only pulled to the rear during the actual firing action of the gun. This one here is, uh, once you chamber around, it cocks that thing into the firing position. And, uh, and it stays in that uh, pressurized position until you actually pull the trigger. Now, when I first got the pistol and, and taken a look at it, uh, I was fearful that uh, in the event that this, this catch happens to drop, or, or if you drop it on a, on a floor or a garage or whatever, could the, pot, the gun actually go off? Well, the answer is no. The chances of it going off uh, is next to nil because of the fact that this thing has an integrated uh, uh, striker safety block that uh, even if the striker falls forward, uh, the safety block will keep it from hitting the firing pin. So with that being said, it's a very safe little gun to, uh, to, to have. Uh, I carry this gun quite a lot, so I, I, I have to de depend on it and uh, I have to trust it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and I'm going to talk to you about one of the issues. Well, before I do that, I wanted to talk to you about this. This is one of the concerns that I had when I first got this thing. But uh, don't let it bother you because 
Uh, this gun's actually got several hundred rounds through it, haven't had any issues with it, but I don't know if that'll show up on film. Check out how thin that barrel is. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but as I turn it, you can see that the tip of that barrel is actually, uh, is actually larger than the barrel itself. And you can see how thin that part of it is. That's a thin little barrel, very, very lightweight, but uh, Taurus must have done a good job on it because I haven't had any kind of problems with it. I haven't heard of any issues with the barrel itself. I've done a little research on it. Quite a lot, to be exact. This thing does have the, the straight eight Heine sights, which uh, makes for a real easy uh, sight picture. Uh, the gun seems to be as, almost as accurate, or at least as accurate as my Glock. I go ahead and put the thing back together here. Put your takedown pin back in there, and you might have to wiggle it. There you go. Snap it into place. Now here's the issue. Supposedly, if you go to the range and you're if you're out there shooting, and you go to squeeze a trigger, and you're like, "Oop! Don't want to squeeze. The, don't want to uh, fire the round." But your fingers on the trigger, and you throw the safety up. Supposedly, the gun can actually be fired from this position. This is on first strike. Now I want you to pay attention. You don't hear the gun going off. I'm squeezing that trigger and the gun's not going off. The issue that, has, that comes up is actually in second strike. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop the hammer, or go actually drop the firing pin, and I'm going to squeeze the trigger and you'll hear it go click. That's your first strike capability. Now you're in second strike. You can see that. Okay. Now same scenario. Let's say you got your finger on the trigger, you throw your safety up, and now you're in a dangerous situation. Now check this out. The gun can still go off. Now the question is, can it go off with enough force to actually fire the round? I'm going to demonstrate that in a few minutes here, but uh, let's talk about this thing. First of all, how many of you have actually had a, uh, a round go off on the second strike? I personally don't really care for the second strike capability because uh, I think it can get you killed. Uh, I've always been taught and I always uh, uh, taught people that, that I shoot with to uh, do the rack tap slide. So if you're, uh, if you're out and you go click, the gun doesn't go off, you make sure that you cock the gun again, get that round out, get another round in the chamber. And don't even worry about the second strike capability because I've, been, I've done a lot of shooting, and I, I don't ever remember uh, the, the, the gun actually going off on the second strike. So, with that being said, even if the hammer falls on second strike capability, the chances of it detonating that primer is fairly slim, So, especially with good ammo. So, that being said, let's go ahead and break the gun down. I'm going to go ahead and set the gun up, because I do not want anybody to ever try this at home. Uh, I'm going to set this gun up uh, so that I can fire a, uh, a live primer. Uh, this is an empty case that I've taken the bullet and the primer out of. You have to use a special bullet pulling hammer. The folks that, uh, that do reloading will recognize one of these and know what they are. But uh, don't try this at home. I'm going to go ahead and set the, camera, set the gun up and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. The gun is set up. Now, uh, this is one of the main reasons that this is, uh, this is so dangerous. You'll notice that the takedown pin has been removed. Uh, since I'm only firing a primer, uh, for demonstration purposes, we don't have a whole lot of pressure here, but don't ever fire a pistol without your takedown pin because you can kill yourself like this. But, like I said, I'm doing this for uh, demonstrated, uh, demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and block the... Uh, block the slide right here to, to keep it in the, in the uh, battery position. Now, same scenario. You can see that the safety is on, but let's say, let's say we go to the range. We've already uh, dropped the round on a, uh, on a dead, dead round. We squeeze the trigger, throw the safety up. Okay. Question is, will the gun go off? Now, listen. Okay. Does that answer your question? It is feasibly possible that the gun could possibly go off uh, if you were in second strike capability and you applied the safety after, apply, uh, after putting your finger on the trigger. Uh, the chances of it happening is next to nil. Uh, this is, is an issue that Taurus probably needs to address, but I don't really perceive it as a, uh, a, a real safety issue. Overall, 
I, I really like the little gun. It's a, uh, it's a uh, like I said, it's a very safe little pistol to, to carry and shoot. Very compact. It's just a, uh, it's a great little pistol, and they're cheap. I mean, you can uh, go to a. Uh, when I bought this, I paid 350 bucks shipped to the shipped to the FFL from Bud's Guns. I was I was real impressed with the uh, with the the cost of the gun. For somebody on a uh, on a strict budget. Taurus makes a great little carry pistol. So uh, check them out, guys. I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, I, I hear, I do hear that the uh, that the customer service for Taurus kind of kind of lacks, but uh, they will stay eventually stand behind their product. Uh, and there is, uh, I haven't had any real issues with uh, with this gun at all. I mean, the only issue that I saw was with this with this safety issue, and I'm not even going to be concerned about that. So uh, if you pick one up, let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. Thank you for watching.